Hi, today I'm going to give you a quick tour of the fitness center at the Life Plan community of Cypress Cove in Fort Myers, Florida. Now the fitness center is located next to the swimming pool. This video is targeted to those who might be intimidated by the seeming complexity of the machines inside. So I wanted to promote the times when a fitness coach will be there to show us how they work and offer advice on which workouts they think I should do. Hi, we're in the fitness center at Cypress Cove and you're going to meet Lindsay. Lindsay, tell us a little bit about you. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Lindsay and I am a physical therapy assistant. I am a fitness coach and a personal trainer. I'm here to help you learn how to use these machines along with all of the other coaches that work with Tricor here at Cypress Cove. Now you really should come in between those times and talk to one of the coaches because these machines can be really intimidating and you're not really sure how to use them. Everybody is different and everybody needs to be taught the proper way how their body will fit in and out of all of these machines. We're never too old to learn. <laughs> it's always good to learn something new every day. And we're going to look at some of the equipment, but if you have to leave, that's okay. I just wanted you to know that there are these specific times when there's a professional here that can help guide you to a piece of equipment that would be good for you and show you how to operate it. So come on down. Let's go look at some of the stuff. All right, come on down. Come on. So we'll go through. I'll just kind of give you a little, a little uh, um, tidbit sure. on, each, uh, on each machine. This right here is called a new step. And it's pretty easy to, to operate. You just pull this up here to turn it around. And then you can also move it forward and back, depending upon what height you want to use. And then you would use your feet and you would also use your arms to do, it's almost like walking, except you're using your arms and you're also sitting. So it's like, well, sitting walking. So it's not a lot of impact on the joints and it's very good for you. It becomes a cardiovascular exercise as well, which is great for your heart too. It looks more comfortable than my car seat. Well, I'm not sure if that's good or bad. <laughs> and we have here a recumbent bike. So just a regular bike, except you're sitting, so your back is supported. So anybody with a bad back or a weak core, this would be more appropriate for them to use versus a regular bike like this. And you're not gonna fall over on either one. You should not fall <laughs> over, just don't lead from side to side. <laughs> Stay in the middle and you'll be just fine. And this handy dandy treadmill, what is this for? What do we do with this? Walk or run and change the incline. That is correct. I'm gonna guess most people are not running, but that's okay, I am the runner around here, so I'll show you how to do that. Now, one of the things that intimidates is when you look at the controls on these modern uh, pieces of equipment, but actually, if you just know a little bit about them, it's not near as complicated as it looks. Demo. Okay, so yes, it's really not as complicated as it looks. So the first thing you want to do before you use the treadmill is you want to walk up to the treadmill, put one arm on, on either side, and you always want to put your legs like so. Most, most of the time, it should not be running, but just in case for some reason it was left on, you'd never want to step on here first. You always want to keep your feet off to the side. And then you'll walk up to the front here. Keep your feet where they are because you want to stay stable. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take this emergency stop, the safety thing. Just in case you want to stop and you're all the way back here walking, which you shouldn't be anyways, but if you lose your balance or something like that, if you have this attached to you, it will automatically stop. So just, just attach it like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanna just do a general walking without an incline or a speed, this is what you're gonna do. This is what I usually tell people to start. Just hit go. So as you can see, the treadmill right there is really not going very fast. Very slow. It's going very slow. So now what you wanna do is you wanna step on the treadmill, and if you wanna go faster, you're gonna hit this right here, this button, and it's going to make the treadmill go a little faster. And you just go as fast as you can, or as, as fast as you want. Mm -hmm. Well, or if you can go faster, go for it, as long as you're being safe. Now, if you need to hold on, you're going to want to hold on like so, keeping your head straight, and you're going to want to tighten your tummy. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you're going to swing your arms and move like so. You can, How long should I do this? 
So to be heart healthy, you want to have some type of a cardiovascular workout for 30 minutes a day. Now that 30 minutes a day does not have to be all at once. You can break it up. For example, you can do 10 minutes, 10, three times. You can do 15 minutes twice. Whatever works out for your schedule, but it's that 30 minutes that you want to reach. And it doesn't have to be very intense either. What's this called, a mountain climber? Yes, this is like a mountain climber. <laughs> so step machine. Actually, this is called an elliptical machine that is kind of like a step machine, but kind of like running also, because it's going to go into a forward motion or it can go in a backward motion while using your arms or not using your arms. So I'm guessing that not everybody will be able to use that machine. They'd more maybe want this machine. It depends upon what the goal is, and it also depends upon the, level, the fitness level of the person that's trying to use it. This is the rowing machine, and it is very good for you. You use your arms, you use your legs, and you use your core. And you also have to sit down and stand up, so you're using your legs to get down to a lower position, along with picking yourself up, too. And then this has adjustments for how much tension you want on the pole? Yeah, that would be that dial that's down there below. Right now, it looks to be on, on two. So you're past one. Yay! So what all are we working with this machine? Because I can feel a lot going on. Well, to be honest with you, you're working pretty much everything. This is a whole body workout. Because you're bending your knees, and then you're extending your knees, you're tightening your core, so you're engaging. You're using your arms, you're pulling back, you're using your back muscles. So as you can see, it's pretty much a whole body workout. What time do I have to leave? Never. Can you send supper down? <laughs> First, you gotta keep going. So this machine is a little bit intimidating and it can be a little complicated. However, it is good for you to use it. Definitely come in between the hours that the coaches are here to find out how to use this properly. You're going to pull down towards the breastbone and then bring it back up. Nice and easy down and pull it back up. The exercise machines on the right side of the fitness center are the more sophisticated machines. They're designed to work specific muscles. I recommend seeking guidance from one of the coaches to learn how to use them effectively. Push forward, breathe, and then pull back. Push, and pull back. And then you're gonna bend the elbows and bring them down. Bend the elbows and bring them down. What, what do we call this machine? Uh, the cage? Looks like something out of the Wizard of Oz where you move the curtain and the wizard's back there. Poof! <laughs> <laughs> it's all ready to go. So yes, this machine can definitely be quite daunting and intimidating. And frankly, it, it kind of is. So you really should get help with this and know how to use it properly. Now we did the row machine over there where we use both arms. We also did the row machine over there where we use both arms. I also like to use one part of the body at a time because one part is one side of the body is always weaker than the other. So it's good to work in, in isolation. So in order to do this, this can be done in many ways. I'm just giving you an example of how to do a one arm in row with this particular machine. You want to stand up tall, one leg behind the other, tighten your tummy, push your shoulders down, squeeze back by bringing the elbow back, and then bring it back. This is just one way to use this machine. And as you can see, there's many ways. So this is the leg extension and the leg curl machine. I mean, if you want to get taller, you get on the leg extension. Either that or have somebody pull your legs. That might work also. <laughs> All right. You know what I just realized? As you walk into the fitness center, I would say the simple, <laughs> simple to use machines are on the left. Uh, the more sophisticated, uh, takes a little practice, is on the right. That's correct. The other thing I would tell you is the cardio machines are on the left. 
and the strengthening machines are on the right. Look at that. <laughs> so when somebody's coming in uh, multiple times a week, uh, they don't always have to work the same machine. No, in fact, it's actually very good to work different machines because you're going to work your muscles in different ways, which is also called cross training. You don't want to do the same thing over and over again because then that part of the body will get, can get overused and then you can end up with some injuries as well. So it's actually very good to use different machines. Plus, it keeps the, the, the workout lively and fun, like I like to say. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Keep that energy up. <laughs>